is a North Texas woman making a big presence. We told you about Chira, a local muralist who got the chance to paint wind turbines this week. Yes, those huge wind turbines that you see, you know, like out in a field. I can't wait to see the finished product. Joining us this morning, Chara Brooker. Hey there, good to see you. Hello, good to see you. All right, so I love following you on social media. Your art is simply amazing. Normally, like I've seen you paint walls and businesses or like buildings or like I saw you do a dock at one point. How in the world did painting part of a wind turbine come about? <laughs> It was actually a year in the making. Sweetwater, Texas contacted me and they've had these wind turbines painted for about 10 to 20 years maybe. And they were like, we need a refresh and we think you're the perfect person to do it, to make it very Texas themed, Sweetwater themed and beautiful. So it was quite the challenge. <laughs> this has to be the craziest canvas you've painted on. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I, so it's like the <laughs> blades of, yeah, the wind turbines or turbines, however you say. Uh, you know, and, and this is on display, like on both ends of the town, right? Yes, both sides of Sweetwater. So you see them when you're entering in. So it was actually the first mural I've ever had to duplicate as well. So not only was oh. it very large, 150 feet long, but I had to do it twice. <laughs> and this is a special place for you, Sweetwater, Texas. Yes, definitely. So I grew up in Merkel, Texas, about 25 minutes east of Sweetwater. So I grew up driving through Sweetwater all the time and seeing those wind turbines. And so now that I got to paint them, it's just kind of a full circle moment. And I got to paint them with my dad and my granddad because they live nearby and they're artists as well. Okay, that is what I loved, that <laughs> your dad and granddad, so multiple generations all together painting this. How'd you decide exactly what you were gonna paint on this 150 feet? So it took a couple variations of designs, but basically they just wanted it to embody Sweetwater. And so we came down to Texas wildflowers, cactus, a World War II wasp plane in the background, just everything you think of when it comes to Sweetwater and a rattlesnake. Don't forget the <laughs> rattlesnake <laughs> around us. And so, yeah, it was really fun. Very Texas themed. Oh, so yeah, that was one of my first live shots on on live on air was at the the sweet one, the rattlesnake roundup that's there. <laughs> um, I, you know, I have to. I, I was so curious about your background. And I looked. You were actually an art director at Mary Kay, and for oh, years, and then you left to become a full time artist. Uh, that those are two very different, I mean, similar, but yet very different jobs. And I've just looked at the the artwork that you've created. Um, did, I mean, and they're big. Does it feel overwhelming when you first start or are, are you past that now? Surprisingly, no. I just kind of start one thing at a time and it just builds until I'm finished. So I try not to think of it as a whole, especially on the wind turbines. I think I would have been a little overwhelmed, but I will say my career at Mary Kay, I was an art director, but my graphic design experience does lend itself nicely to murals and being able to design them for the client uh, before painting. Makes sense, makes sense. So your dad and your grandpa helping out that had to have been just a, a, a great, sweet moment. It was the best, very sweet. It was a pretty tough schedule I put them through, but they were troopers <laughs> and were right there along with me. I love that you're the boss. Dad, Grandpa, <laughs> get on over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm putting you to work. What's your next project? Can you tell us? So I'm currently at Gloria's on Greenville in Dallas, wow. Gloria's Latin Cuisine, and I'm putting up a painting that will overflow into a mural on the wall. You can kind of see the... Oh, I see a little sneak peek, if you will. A little oh. sneak peek, yes. Yeah, I so love it, I love it, okay. Well, thank you so much. I know, when, when's the uh, the ribbon cutting for the, uh, the, the wind turbine? August 10th, August. as of now. Okay, yeah. Sweetwater, Texas, when you drive on through, you can see Chara's work. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. What a talent.